hearing. Then we've got 6.5 for three, which is live stream with Eric Adelson. And then it's all the way down to number 12, Comanche Moon with Torbin Jansen driving also for uh, Stigo Johansson. And he is the third favourite at, at the second favourite at 3.7. Philly Carr, who Lati also drives for Stiko Johansson in the similar in the same colours as Eric Adelson, and he drives Iasi. So three horses in this field for Stiko Johansson. And they make their way towards the car. 2140 the distance. And all 12 go to post. So, hot favourite here, Avatar Broda, is our pick as well. And a big danger would be 12 Comanche Moon, if he could recreate what he did when he won from the back position this time around. We'll be staying here after this race to talk about the first or the second leg of the V86, of course, and we'll be doing that, as I say, right up until it's time to show you warm-ups. So here they come with 100 to go. Second leg of the V5, we're at Sulvala. And away they go. And they all get away nicely and very, very smart there was number two. Miller gets a flyer and uh, goes straight to the lead. First over will be three live stream pocket for one. Avatar Broder, the favourite. And uh, dropping right out to the back of the field is number eight. That's perfect. Gida and Jennifer Tillman galloping there is number ten. LB Drottning as they come off this bend now and head on down the back straight. Twelve, Twelve is making progress there out wide and coming very fast. Comanche Moon. He's a beautiful looking horse, that number 12 Comanche Moon. Be interesting see what he's like later on when he loses his winter coat. That's number two now who gets on and kicks on for the front. That's Miller who's gone to the lead. Number three live stream content to drop back and let him go. Back in third is the favourite Avatar Broda as uh, the first 500 went in 10 and 9. Yes folks I can understand why the others are backing off because this is not hanging around here as they head down towards this bottom bend and number two Miller has got a clear lead. Is followed by three live stream out to the pocket comes one Avatar Broda to go first over. Twelve is on the scene as well, Comanche Moon, and he's got number four, Hope of Joy, on the inside back in fifth. Then we have number five, Galvanizing, coming through as well. As they come off the bend and up the straight, they've got one and a half circuits left to, to go. Ulf Olsen is currently last on the outside with, or Orient Chiefs, I'm sorry, with number 11, Camp New US. And last of all is number eight, Perfect Gida. The other Melander horse, number six, Party Hanover, is second last there on the inside. They've passed the winning post. They head out into the final circuit. And up in front, it's number two, Miller, joined now on the outside by the favourite Avatar Broda. Pocket for three. That's live stream with stable companion Comanche Moon. Uh, then we have number four, Hope of Joy, at matches strides with five, Galvanism. Then is seven, EAC, with number nine, which is Vimes uh, Crescendo. Uh, the next pair then are the Melander pair, 11, Camp New uh, US on the outside of six, which is Party Hanover. And bringing up the rear, number eight, Perfect Gida and uh, Jennifer Tillman. A 1500 metre time was clocked in 15 and two, so they did slow it down in the middle there as they head down to the five marker there. And it's number two, Miller, still going along with number one on the outside, Avatar our brother the favourite in the pocket is still three live stream and now winding up out wide is number 12 Comanche Moon he's a big striding horse though and number two stops three there as number two Miller suddenly drops out as if he was shot that leaves number 12 Comanche Moon to chase home the favourite as they come off this bottom bend and up the straight with 150 to go and it is the favourite Avatar brother being hunted down now by 12 Comanche Moon and Comanche Moon is really starting to pick it up with 50 to go and flat on the inside is Avatar Broder but it holds on to the line so it was number one Avatar brought the favourite number 12 Comanche Moon was second so the punters did get it right number four Hope of Joy will come in in third so here they come off that bend and um Hope of Joy uh, was down in the middle there, kind of middle p midfield throughout the race. Uh, no biggity really, but that did hold on nicely to come up and take a third spot. Number 12, Comanche Moon ran a blinder and Avatar uh, Broder just holds on for the win there. The favourite Avatar Broder from 12, Comanche Moon and number 4 back in third. Right, we're going to talk about the second leg of the V86 now and this of course is uh, uh, the seventh race at Sulvala. There you have it. It's Shoe 
shoes off all around number two apricot stone on in front three off behind five and those are the shoe changes now um 78 percent for hawcliffe what more can i say except that it's my best bet of the day as well so hawcliffe and joe maconcio uh, the thing about this horse is the way he won last time out he's won twice this year he's he's won that twice this year but the way he won last time was nothing short of fantastic and really uh, this horse is going places and really shouldn't be a problem Joe McConty drives as well again for Timo Nurmos and this horse is really is expected to keep the old winning um, theme going here uh, I can't see anything touching him in this race it should just be out and go and win 78% says he will there's no kind of anybody against him really three Kimby Dream has speed and she's been but she broke two races back number one Claudia um, Zaz and Dole Fulton doesn't always trot well uh, he ran without shoes the last race and was uh, took a narrow victory but he's got and he's got the shoes off again here to try and give him a helping hand. I think he has it tough. Number seven, get a winner. Well, get a life. He took a good second spot behind Hawcliffe in the last race. It was good insofar as that he was second. It wasn't so good at how close he was to the winner. He wasn't. So uh, a big one here. Hawcliffe, John McConchie, Timo Norma's my best bet of the day in this 2140 metre second leg of the V86. Okay, we're going back now, and we're going fast and furious over to OB, where they're just about to come out onto the track here, and their next race. And uh, we might as well, Mike, just in case we go to their uh, to the next leg of the V86, just in case uh, we run out of time for some reason. And there it is, their seventh race, and the third leg of the V86. And we've got very tight in the market here. Shoes off behind one, and that's it as far as shoe changes go. But uh, in this sec, in this third leg. Uh, Tullamore GK um, is a 20% shout, is a joint favourite at the moment, has certainly got the right attitude, took a win in the last race here at Obi. she took over the lead after 500 metres, that was it, bum bum home she went. Number 11, Reardon Kronos is, uh, has done well in Sweden and uh, is a 12% shout here has one race under the belt now and this short distance is perfect he'll be in the fight despite the bad post one uh, can appeal for more was really good in a couple of races last year he's facing nice conditions and has come back after a long pause and number five Triton uh, near Gord is the other horse here he wins a lot he's done well in both races this year and he's won before when coming to Sweden so you can see can appeal for more Peter Untersteiner uh, enjoy chocolate is another one Christopher Eriksson won four starts back and uh, has run six times this year hasn't been great the last two starts but one of them was a V75 final 20% for Tullamore GK 12% uh, for Triton Neargord and Jeppy Jewel 12% for Robin Hood B another horse I didn't mention and that has had three starts this year starting off with a win two seconds the last time two starts and then Reardon Cronus number 11 uh, for Christian Malmin so a um, very, very competitive race, the third leg here at Obi. But they're out on track now, so we're going to stay where we are, obviously, and see the horses here as they come out. And there's the results for our uh, third race over at Sulva.